clue what this was about. Uh, not quite what I was expecting. Nope. Yes, your new neighbor is going to move into this giant building. <laughs> no clue we're getting into right now. You? Have you a clue? None. None I bet one of them lives in that barrel. That smoldering barrel. Hello. I live I'm here. I'm George Hicks. Oh. For a good many it's years Sleepy now, George I've been bringing again. stories on the radio. About the people and events that make our America George, nobody's over there. great nation that it is. George. Oh. Now I want to tell you another of these stories. Let me take it The story of what it takes to create a new steel mill right from scratch. What does it take to build First, a steel use mill? eminent domain to remove all the people from many their homes. Things and many people. The mill I'm talking about bears the name of a man whose story is also typical of America. He was born the son of a coal miner, got his education through his own efforts, rose through the ranks. His name in the was steel John industry. Henry. He was a steel driving man. He is Benjamin man. F. Fairless, <laughs> chairman of the board and chief executive officer of United States Steel Corporation, which has named its new mill for him, the Fairless Works. This steel mill is located in Pennsylvania on the Delaware River. And based on the and name, the they the don't follow any saw safety regulations. Before work began. <laughs> These are the ore docks, where raw materials are, are dumped unloaded. into the ocean. <laughs> Iron ore is stored here. Coal goes I into the coal zoomed in a, a little coal closer on Isn't this the Iron map they used to prove that Saddam had weapons of mass and destruction? To steel I and mean, cast into ingots no at nine sense in open messing with something furnaces. that works, right? <laughs> the ingots are heated for the first rolling in these soaking pit furnaces. At the primary mill, they are then rolled into smaller sections called I'm blooms George Hicks, and slabs. This is operation, I the slabs are rolled into coils of strip on an 80-inch wide hot strip mill. Here, Here is you'll where see the a coil spider strip hole is where the insurgents are hiding. For automobile bodies and tin plate. Blooms are rolled into billets and small slabs on another continuous mill. Given the size of the... Here is a bar uh, mill. <laughs> I where think some of the this is going to be bars. just... The entire Other video into narrow steel showing us <laughs> points on this map. We're going to keep going back further into that uh, area complete the mill, on the other side a of the water river. A treatment plant, a powerhouse, laboratories, and general offices. Little do I know the that plant America is so will not be like this in a short while. Outsourcing will expansion of facilities in the future. We'll destroy the economy. Tomorrow's, and something well called NAFTA will make many people unhappy. For and built for. What did it take to build this mill? First of all, it took engineering. White power. Planning and designing <laughs> was a big challenge. For Fairless Works is the largest I'm fully sorry. integrated steel White mill power ever to be over built. Over black one arms. Time. This planning wasn't and accomplished overnight. Some dead overnight. Chinese, because that's usually part of the story. It involved years of discussion, too. study, and work by the engineering department in cooperation with the commercial and operating departments. A site was chosen upon which to build the mill. The it didn't look anything like Delaware our River, diagram, so we're going to have to redo that now. <laughs> ...was picked for a number of reasons. First of all, the mill would be near many users of steel. <laughs> it's then two, failure. being on the East Coast, would uh, be an advantage are you in show receiving the raw materials scale by has barge and ship off, and sending out steel Just by water. There were excellent rail facilities. We're going to take a train And some to of the England. finest highway routes That's in right. the eastern part of the United to States. To England. <laughs> There was plenty of fresh water available, which is essential fresh water. to steel making no, operations. from the ocean. <laughs> and there were plenty of people in the community who would be good steel makers. The beginning of actual construction was marked by groundbreaking ceremonies on March 1st, 1951. United States Steel was given an official welcome to the community by the state of Pennsylvania, Look, as well as by the neighboring state the of bunch. New Jersey. Mr. Fairless, in his address, said to the new neighbors of Pennsylvania and New Jersey, you have already made us feel that we are welcome and established members of this community. And now I hope if you look over to my left, you may there is a table upon which you can put your customary greeting apple pies. To be your neighbor. <laughs> what? You haven't brought them? Well, I'm not breaking ground here. Mr. Fairless dug the first spade full of earth. You and your community can go fuck it. Uh, just... Anywhere. Into a woman's face. 
a corps of bulldozers and earth-moving equipment went into action, and the building of the new steel mill began. Why is the music <laughs> Just wondering why it suddenly became a horrifying... What did it take to build this steel mill? It Taming took more the than graboids. 10 million cubic <laughs> yards of dirt to build up low spots for proper drainage. The earth was borrowed, leaving pits on the site for future slag disposal. This had to be done before construction could start. The horrors of modern construction. <laughs> The fuck machine was in <laughs> 25,000 H beams were driven deep into the earth to give a solid base upon which to build foundations. Yeah, thanks for pointing at that. It really helped. <laughs> Why don't you go put it your hand in the fuck machine? 700,000 <laughs> cubic yards of it were poured for these foundations. life went untouched. <laughs> Escape it was took made impossible. Men to build furnaces and ovens and buildings. We called it Three Mile Island. <laughs> the hilarity of modern Look at those wacky welders. <laughs> That's how you lose a finger. Back to ominous. Now oh, they have to put the biplane in. Mentioning the areas that we're seeing again, I don't think anybody he's, remembers he's, anything from that fucking diagram earlier. Passed out, drooling. On it his takes desk. water to run a steel mill. Enough water is used in this mill to supply a city of one million three hundred seventy-five thousand people. Wait, wait, steel mill? That we're building it is a city? As it comes from the Delaware River, no, no, purified again before it is returned. Wait, wait. This meant building the most ultra-modern treatment plant that can be found in any steel houses? mill in the world. Their neighbors. It takes power, a lot of electric power. Enough power is used here to supply a city of 450,000. Again, not it's running happen. away. It building high tension <laughs> power lines. These men will have learned to it live takes up here. It transportation, 75 miles of railway lines, 20 miles of roads, and several miles of conveyors were built just to move materials within the plant. Efficiency. Somebody said something about building things closer together. He just shot him and poured his body into the foundation. The ore, coal, <laughs> limestone, dolomite, and other materials used by this <laughs> mill each year Dolomite. would fill a single freight train stretching from Philadelphia to the southern tip of Florida. It's a it big took 10,000 men Rimmers. to build this steel mill. But these were only never the men seen this working steel, at the site. Actually, some 200 prime contractors were needed. Each of these, in turn, handed out subcontracts to 10 other firms on the average. And many of these used subcontractors. Many of these contractors were small businesses, having fewer than 500 employees. In fact, two contractors employed only two workers apiece. One other was an individual with no one else on his payroll. Uh, so yes, the one way or another, at the everyone in the entire country worked for this steel mill. <laughs> who played some part 
in on building the, the machinery, way up the to the present and the facilities. <laughs> hey, there's a black. Yes, more than a hundred thousand companies of every possible size <laughs> were employed sorry, in building a, this mill. A while since I'd seen it one. It stands as another monument to American enterprise and the close cooperation between big business and small business. Now we can stand on the shores of Alaska and shake it our took dicks more than at the rest. <laughs> <engineering drawing. laughs> To guide uh, the construction uh, and installation works. Look at our the drawings dead. alone were not enough. <laughs> it took the continuous activity of a corps of engineers with skill and knowledge to supervise the transfer of concepts on paper into concrete and steel. A new steel mill acts as a magnet that can be expected to attract other new industries to the area. This means new capital investments, new job opportunities, new employment. New and payroll. less space to live, so <laughs> suck it, A new it, steel faggots. mill also attracts new housing. And Fairless Hills is typical of the growing new communities. It was designed by one of the nation's leading authorities on urban planning. Such a new community brings with it new schools and churches, new stores, medical facilities, and recreation areas. I mean, and if it didn't, boy, wouldn't that be a fucking pile up. job opportunities. <laughs> The effect of a new steel mill upon a whole area is tremendous. And as a new neighbor, it was important to see that everyone in the area understood and appreciated that this effect was good. So it we sent our emissaries into the home of every <laughs> neighbor around. <laughs> it meant listening, explaining, answering questions, clearing up misconceptions. It meant welcoming visitors Using cronyism to, the site of the to mill. get the neighbors to keep their mouths shut. <laughs> taking them around and explaining the mill to them. All this is part of being a good neighbor. And part of being a good neighbor is sitting down with other neighbors and discussing common interests. Like Working being with white. planning commissions, Everyone. school boards, hospital and welfare committees, and many others, in a cooperative effort to solve the problems that bear upon community welfare. When neighbors meet each other halfway, these problems are more easily solved and the whole community benefit. It takes men to operate a steel mill. Even Women while just aren't up to the job. Was in progress, we tried it once. The first of the 6,000 people needed to run the mill were being this hired. This man will be given a menial oh, job while this man will be given a menial job. Steel making is a new career for the majority of them. They were trained by experienced steel makers who had come from other United States steel plants throughout the country. Sessions were held with key personnel to build a training program which would equip new employees for their new jobs and job cash was and drawn careers. to pay the Italians to leave us alone. Meanwhile, <laughs> buildings continued to take shape, and equipment was installed in those buildings which were complete. Oh, at last, equipment to bring this horror to an end. <laughs> Music is finally <laughs> uplifting and hopeful. If we built the steel mill strong enough, even the Zionists can't take it down. <laughs> Mr. Fairless made frequent visits to look over the 3,900 acres. This was land that once raised broccoli and spinach. But 20 now months after ground useless. was broken, a steel <laughs> mill was rising. However, much was yet to be done. Huge earth-moving equipment still crawled over the brown That's all they time they were building the fucking thing. <laughs> Some foundations Just took green were still shits being poured. Everywhere. <laughs> One building was still but little more than an empty shell of corrugated steel. Considerable steel-making equipment stood waiting to be installed. True, much was yet to be done, but much had also been accomplished. And there were unmistakable signs that the completion of the mill was not too far off. This pile oh, yes. Already scrap iron was <laughs> stockpiled into huge ridges. Already regiments of ingot molds were standing on special railroad cars waiting to be filled with molten steel. The five stand coal reduction mill, the fastest mill of its type, designed to operate at 7,000 feet per minute or at the express <laughs> if you thought speed you knew an industrial hour, was ready to like, go into operation. Well, just you wait. <laughs> the most modern smoke and gas cleaning equipment available had been installed on the open hearth furnaces to help keep the atmosphere clear for our neighbors. 
A mountain of ore stood ready for the blast furnace. The smokestack's high enough. No a one will ever lighted, see the pollution. Brought up to operating temperature, <laughs> and coke was pushed. Yes, Mr. Fairless found reason to offer congratulations to men typical of the many who were helping to Wait, build the new operate. steel mill no, 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 no. I in don't Bucks shake County, your hand. Pennsylvania. <laughs> Get your filthy ass As back time in that moved bucket on, truck. The profiles of furnaces and mills and installations more and more closely resembled the way the engineers saw them before work began. Phew. I just, I, I'm sorry, I can't recognize any of that without giant white arrows. <laughs> yes. But the day has been saved. Yes. At last. The horror of an untamed and constructing <laughs> landscape is finally at an end. I guess that's what that horror movie music was, was them battling back the spinach and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> This is all well and good, but I need captions to tell me what these structures did after this movie was over. I believe this film ends with an A-bomb. <laughs> yes, pictures. Completion pictures of the largest of fully integrated <laughs> steel mill to be built see. at one time was not far off. On December 11th, 1952, less than two years after the first spadeful of dirt was lifted from the earth, steel Scandal making world. began. <laughs> this memorable day started with the christening of the number two blast furnace found by in Mrs. Benjamin F. Fairless. The ingenuity and achievements of the men who helped build and are continuing Oh, women are wanting things. Never cease to amaze me. My pride yes, everything amazes you. Men has taken on today. You're not allowed to vote. And I wish to Yet. Those men yeah, they're allowed to vote. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm in just an American. This great steel mill, which bears my husband's name. It is with a sense, a deep sense of honor that has been confirmed. Should have practiced that, that speech he wrote for you a little more. <laughs> a hazel furnace of fairless works. Now just uh, get 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 off the stage, please. You're not really married to Mr. Fairless. No, 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 don't touch that. <laughs> really? That's what you put behind the curtain? I am my God, I'm embarrassed. The tradition of the steel industry is that a furnace be named for a woman. And then and the so woman thrown into us. Hazel for Mrs. Fairless. It's an odd tradition. It's the smashing of the penguin against the... <laughs> I couldn't tell what that was. It's a champagne bottle the like you do on a ship. No, I know. It just looked Nancy, funny when it was... The yeah, of the it looked like yeah, it looked animal. like it had flaps so like the penguin. To light up her furnace. <laughs> Someday, my dear, they'll be naming a furnace after you. <laughs> to say that I am pleased and proud of the honor which has been paid here today is like, what these the assholes want to hear. Family, but let me tell you, this has been a shit show from top to bottom. <laughs> Among steel men, of course, a blast furnace is always known as a lady. That motherfucker back there behind him does not and look it is pleased. Named for <laughs> the guy looking... Not because yeah. the furnace okay. is a thing of shapely beauty. Yeah. Exactly. But because it is inclined at best to be somewhat temperamental. In oh, this case, okay. however, so it's named after a woman I want because to it assure sucks. you <laughs> that if the hazel furnace, which we christened a few <laughs> Much like ago, my old ass wife used to, and the Nancy furnace, blood will flow which we from are this factory lie, at least once a month. Should happen to possess the and same the no dispositions, there'll be none the same the energetic characteristics that have been displayed in life by the ladies whose name they bear, then Fairless Works <laughs> will never have much trouble 
with its arm. That guy does not look like and he so, believes it. Arm. Now we come to the moment that all of us have been waiting for. So no one can say how long this furnace that we are light lighting here will burn. Hopefully, he doesn't know that it's will already be been lit. for many, many years <laughs> to come. Boy, they are spending a long, long time on this furnace burn, naming. Yes. It will shine as a living tribute to, to the vision of the men who have conceived, go, designed, and built really. this plant. Oh, it's Biden. <laughs> and to their firm <laughs> determination that America shall never lack the steel that it needs to grow on, nor the strength that it needs to, de to defend its freedom. <laughs> Well, they are just Ladies a, a and gentlemen, pair of I shall delay that <laughs> moment no longer. Let me introduce my eldest granddaughter, Miss Nancy Ferris. Get up here, you little shit. <laughs> the climax of the day was the pouring of the first Fairless Works steel from one of the nine open hearts. A highlight of this ceremony was the extending of congratulations and thanks to the men who conceived and planned Fairless Works, and good wishes to the men who will supervise its operation. The big moment has arrived. We're naming you another furnace. You are about furnace. to witness the tapping of the first heat of steel made in the new Fairless Works. This is just how they operate everything. Names, Nothing gets and done inside of a year. <laughs> very proud this moment. Carol, will you come forward? The now United I'd States like to show you the uh, ceremonial Everyone blowing of the lunch whistle. <laughs> One of the fundamentals is that if a workman is associated with the handling of hot metal, they must wear safety gloves. Oh. So, Carol, this is a glove if ceremony. you wish to become a steel worker, it's necessary for you to obey all the safety rules. Therefore, you must put on the gloves. I'm sorry, we should have had you put on the gloves before you lit that furnace. It was an <laughs> oversight. Which <laughs> <laughs> means we can have the uh, first oversight ceremony immediately following this one. So here is a chalkboard. You can see it has the amount of days on it since our last accident, and you can see that the number is a zero. Carol well, then set off the jet, zero. which tapped the open What bar. we would like to see is for there to be other numbers on the, uh, the, uh, on the, uh, and the first on the board. And the first steel gushed into the ladle. Now this part of the plant has exploded. <laughs> so, uh, now we'll have the ceremonial first funeral <laughs> I'm sorry funerals <laughs> this steel mill can produce 1,800,000 tons of steel a year it won't but it could <laughs> large and small will finish it, into it will never for get up and run it they will also make it into pipelines I don't know why they bother cars, shooting bridges, news stoves, cameras there's got to be cell phone videos that will still telephone <laughs> wire <laughs> toys and the thousands of other things we need and use in our daily living this was the beginning. With this beginning, the new neighbor on the Delaware was in business. Although this really does make in the words of Benjamin Ferris, ceremonies at prefab this is a plant that will really go on for 50 stupid. or perhaps 100 mm -hmm. years to come, pouring steel into the ribs of our nation and wealth into its economic veins. Yeah. Sounds painful. <laughs> Pouring wealth into the veins, I get. You know, the, the, just you know, veins <laughs> convey a liquid Steel into the ribs. But yeah, the, the, you don't pour anything into ribs. <laughs> steel. You pour steel in. No, no, no. Ribs operate best when they're uh, un unfettered. <laughs> yeah. 